looking to invest and get regular income? Think about high dividend stocks. These are shares from companies that regularly share a part of their profits with investors. The best ones come from well-established companies that increase their payouts over time. Some of the top ones have an average dividend yield of 12.69%. Hi, it's Bev from Finance Home Front, and today we're gonna search for stocks with better dividend yields, and I'll guide you on how to spot them. I'll share what to check in your dividend pairs and spill the beans on the top dividend stocks for 2024. Let's kick off what might be the easiest positive move in the group. FMC Corporation, ticker FMC, boasting a 3.7% dividend yield. FMC had a really tough year, down 49%, making it the worst performing stock in the S&P 500. But this isn't just a random bet on a turnaround. FMC is a leader in crop protection chemicals, with sales over $4.5 billion across every continent. With arable land decreasing and global food demand rising, boosting food production means getting more out of where we grow. Ag chemical producers like FMC are in a solid long-term position. The stock made the list this year for a somewhat predictable reason. The crop protection market experiences cycles of growth and contraction every five to seven years. Similar to many commodities, the cycle follows the same pattern. Profits and growth lead to oversupply, resulting in plunging margins. The long-term demand growth remains, pulling the industry back into an uptrend. If you invested at the trough of the previous correction in 2015, you would have seen shares triple by 2022, yielding a 23% annual return plus that dividend. It's not just the short-term trade capitalizing on the boom-bust cycle. FMC has a competitive advantage, gaining market share during this recent correction, which is expected to turn around. It's set to grab a larger piece of this long-term crop protection market, making it a stable long-term investment with the added benefit of dividend cash flow. Moving on to international business machines, ticker IBM. It's a bit trickier, even with its 4% dividend yield, because it's been a bit of a disappointment for quite a while. It even caught Warren Buffett off guard, with the Oracle of Omaha losing $2 billion before finally selling out. Until its rebound last year, IBM had been on a downward trend for a decade. So why consider it now? Well, IBM is still trading at 20 times earnings, and its price-to-sales ratio is two and a half times, compared to competitors like Microsoft trading at 36 times earnings and Oracle at 29 times earnings, with double the price-to-sales ratio. Investors are paying less for IBM because they don't anticipate it capitalizing on the recent interest in artificial intelligence. However, IBM has been building up to this for over a decade. Back in 2010, it introduced its natural language AI, Watson, and has expanded its capabilities since then. While IBM may not be leading in artificial intelligence like Microsoft and Google, it's still securing a share of the market. And even a small portion of the generative AI market could mean billions in value. Additionally, IBM is a cash flow machine, generating over $11 billion in free cash flow in the last year more than enough to cover its $6 billion in dividends and $400 million in share buybacks. The truth is, AI tech growth might not seem like the ideal theme for dividend investors, but IBM might surprise everyone in the next few years, enhancing the 4% dividend yield. You know, I'm not the type to just throw a list of stocks at you and say, go buy these. My goal is to empower you to be a smarter investor. So let's dive into what I consider when looking for those top-notch dividend stocks with the highest returns. First off, it's not just about chasing high dividends. We want stocks that align with current trends or themes poised for significant returns in 2024 and beyond. I'm eyeing two main groups. Those set to benefit from interest rate cuts such as real estate and utilities, and those riding the wave of multi-year trends like artificial intelligence, electric vehicles, and renewables. Once we've identified potential candidates, it's time to sift through the nitty-gritty details of company fundamentals. Things like price valuations, operating margins, and market share compared to peers. 
Now, don't just go for the cheapest stock. It's about striking a balance. Consider a company's operating margin, a key indicator of profitability, and its market share against competitors. You might pay a bit more for a stock, but if it's driving sales and earnings growth, it could be worth it, potentially propelling the share price higher. Before we dive into the next stock, a huge shout out to our community. Thank you for being here. If you're not part of it yet, hit like, that red subscribe button, and the notification bell. It's free, and you won't miss a single episode. Now let's talk about Realty Income, ticker O, and its 5.4% yield. It's had a bit of a tough time over the past year, which might actually be a signal for you to consider buying. Investors appreciate the 122 monthly dividend increases, making it the sole real estate trust in the dividend aristocrats list. However, like many similar stocks, the shares took a hit, dropping 22% since the Federal Reserve began raising interest rates. This decline happened despite the overall market experiencing a 15% increase. Now you, our viewers, are well aware that real estate is a core theme for us in 2024. Why you ask? Because just as investors were caught off guard by those rate hikes, they might be pleasantly surprised by the positive impact these rate cuts could have on some of the hardest hit stocks. According to the CME Fed watch tool, which tracks market expectations for Federal Reserve rate cuts, the projections are already estimating the first cut by March, with at least six cuts in 2024. Now, Realty Income owns freestanding retail properties that are somewhat shielded from the e-commerce trend. Think of necessities like groceries, convenience stores, drug stores, and home improvement stocks. While these stocks experienced a 6% dip in 2022 and an 8% decline last year, they managed to avoid the worst of the sell-off. The company's long-term leases and the historical 98% occupancy rate translates to stable cash flows, even during recessions, supporting its history of dividend increases. Now let's speak at the funds from operations, a vital measure for real estate stocks, which has been steadily climbing and is expected to reach $4.25 per share in 2024. The recent dip in the stock created a gap, with the current 11.5 times price to FFO basis compared to a historical average closer to 17 times FFO. So when the interest rates began to decline, propping up real estate values and that price multiple narrows the gap, investors might find themselves looking at a 40% plus upside on the stock price, accompanied by that 5% monthly dividend. Let's talk about Dominion Energy, our next pick for 2024 dividends. With a robust 5.7% yield, it surpasses even real estate. Now, no sector felt the heat of rising rates more than utilities plummeting over 11% last year. Here's the mystery. Utilities boasted the fifth best earnings growth at 7.6%, far better than the mere 0.6% across all stocks. Their net profit margin ranked fourth among sectors, one of only six to see rising profitability. So why the nosedive in utility stocks? Blame it on investors chasing those 5% yields in money market funds ditching dividend stocks. But not you. You're savvy. This panic selling created a sweet opportunity in utility stocks. Dominion now trades at a reasonable 15 times on a price-to-earnings basis, down from the usual 30 times P average. Anticipate those interest rate cuts luring investors back to dividend stocks. Dominion forecasts a healthy 9% earnings growth next year reaching $3.15 per share. Even at a 20 times PE ratio, that spells a share price of $63, a potential 34% upside. Now, I don't want you diving in solely for the rate cut narrative. Dominion stands strong, serving 4 million customers with a monopoly-like grip in the regulated utility arena. We've explored some promising dividend stocks for 2024, each with unique strengths and opportunities. Remember, it's not just about chasing high yields, but understanding the broader market trends and finding solid companies poised for growth. Now, which dividend stocks caught your attention? Or do you have other favorites for this year? Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
Just a reminder that this isn't financial advice, investment tips, or any recommendation from Finance Home Fund. Investing involves risks, and we're not accountable for any losses, be it direct, indirect, or consequential, due to trading. Approach your investments with care and be cautious. If you found this information valuable and want more insights about smart investing, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell.